long time. What the? Oh, well, there goes my music. Hey guys, Capper here. So I'm headed over to Tractor Place and I'll probably be buying that new, uh, someone rec recommended Optimus for the name and I like that, Optimus. Anyways, uh, I'll probably be buying it. So if you wanna know my mindset on this, like I was just listening to George Strait, here for a good time. So that's kind of what I think, not just now, but every single day. And that's the way I try to live my life. So if you find yourself putting things off and saying, well, someday I'm gonna do this, someday I'm gonna do that, why? I mean, if you could look at yourself in the mirror and say, why not today? I mean, obviously, you know, there's financial concerns, but if there's any way, shape, or form you can make one of your dreams happen, it could just be like a weekend away somewhere where you've always wanted to go. Why? Why not today? So that's my mindset. So let's go in and have some fun, see if we can wheel and deal and put something together. Okay, so the main reason this is happening is because of this loader right here. It's a self-leveling loader. So I'm here to do a last minute check on the curl angle and the lift. Now I already know the lift capacity is actually greater on a self-leveling loader because it's shorter and something to do with the mechanics of it. And now look how high this thing lifts. I'm certain this is even a higher lift arm than the loader I have right now. So. There's three advantageous reasons to uh, the self-leveling loader, and these loaders are about eight or nine thousand bucks. So this is kind of a really no-brainer here for my purchase of the new tractor instead of trying to just get a new loader. Okay, and it's not the best angle here, but for those who don't know what a self-leveling loader is, watch the forks. So basically what it does is from basically top to bottom, when you set your bucket at an angle like this to pick something up or lower it, it keeps it at that exact angle all the way up and all the way down and you don't have to curl or dump to adjust it at all. Okay, so here is Megatron 2.0. We ran into a snag with the air conditioner. Uh, Matt thinks there was too much oil in the Freon that he added. So he's going to run it down to the auto shop that's two blocks away who actually has my dump truck right now. And we're going to have the AC completely drained and start fresh with the right amounts of, of oil and Freon. So soon I'll have 2.0. Used to them tiny tractors. That baby purrs. So um, I decided, yes, I want to buy the new one. Um, they ran my credit. It was excellent you know, because we keep good credit. So I got qualified for a note on the new one. So Megatron 1 is now for sale. I do have a guy interested, but right now he cannot commit. So if you are interested, it's a really good deal for you. Basically, if you were to buy that tractor new, Right now, with everything I have added on it, you'd be looking at about 45000 plus tax if you live in Illinois. And that is with, keep in mind, right now they have a free loader program. That's how I bought it. So the loader is 8000 bucks on the price. So I bought it with the free loader. So I'm transferring that to the next buyer. I mean, Megatron is fully loaded. It's got uh, liquid in all four tires. 
I have a front third function on it from WR Long Inc. It's a heavy duty one, not just a stock one. I got that one specifically because I get all heavy duty parts. Uh, right now I've got, uh, oh yeah, let's see, it's got my toolbox on it that I'll leave on it. That's a few hundred more bucks to get one installed. And it's thoroughly, it's thoroughly vetted right now. It's had its 50 hour service. Right now I have 160 hours on it. Everything works. It's barely beginning to break in. And if I didn't like it, I sure wouldn't spend 40 some thousand bucks for a new one. So uh, my assessment of this thing is it is just a mean machine. And so for a similar tractor like this, let's say in John Deere, you're going to pay probably at least 20 grand more. And this thing, I'm telling you, is built like a tank. So if you might be interested in purchasing uh, my Branson 7845C, a.k.a. Megatron, get on our email at capper at capperoutdoors.com and let me know ASAP. There's a couple people saying they're interested, but you know the first one who comes with a loan or cash is going to be the winner. So stay tuned. Lots more fun coming. Thanks, guys.